touch that I need is the one that leads back to you. And I know the only compass that I need oh, is the one that leads back to you. Burning blisters on my feet will call to hold me as I'm close to fall. Away from the of your arms, I say. Let's go. Whoa. Abigail. Jack. Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him, too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed and no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies.
How do you do? How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. The McFarlands are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. How? I was sick and they looked after sick me. How? You sure got a lot of questions. Well, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Go. Hey, Paul. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favors. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Well, like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. Let's go. Paul, was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? Well, I kept hearing people say their names. That, that's all. There's the ranch. Come on. Let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. There you go. John Marshall. There's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Money's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Come on. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. Come on. Hey. story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Let's just say Bill and I settled our differences. So, is this your boy? Yeah, 
Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, the arrogance of youth. He gets a little fur on his lip, and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> Must take after his father. How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. Come! Whoa! Looks like you got him under control. I'd best get back to Paul. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for oh, everything. It's funny, you don't. Come on, easy up now. All right, Jack. Let's get him through the river. Let's go. Jack, this don't look right. Stay back, son! See that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul.
Nice work, son. We made it. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Slow down. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're red? Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. Yeah.